turn around and just tease me, baby. Watch as I take care of from regular jam to blonde ginger. So see, these are the materials that I use to change her hair color. She got tired of her hair being regular brown and she wanted to add a little oomph to it. So she came over and I was like, hey, let's, let's make it happen. So in no way, shape or form is this a tutorial. It's a tutorial because I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to follow directions on a box. So I just thought I'd share with you guys. Uh, you know, I dyed her hair tonight since she wanted to change. She got tired of her hair being the same color. So this is what we're doing. Yeah, so here I'm just doing the sections so that will be easy for me to distribute the dye because as you can see her hair is real thick and there's a lot of it so parting it makes it so much easier to get to the section and making sure that it's distributed evenly throughout the parts so that's why I actually went through all that with her hair but you know it made it, made it easy in the long run so I can't, I can't complain too much Okay, so clearly here I didn't know how to read directions properly because you're technically supposed to put the powder in first and then shake it for 10 seconds and then go ahead and add the cream. Then shake it again to make sure it's evenly, you know, mixed. But you know, me doing what I want to do, I just put everything together and shake it. I mean, it still came out good. I well, to the consistency that I was supposed to, so I guess it doesn't matter, but I would just say follow directions. Don't be like me. Be better. Y'all, my bad. I didn't even realize that my elbow was all in the way. But I promise it moves eventually. Like, I think eventually I realized, like, yo, your elbow's in the way. Check, move your elbow. But, um, yeah, I eventually get out the way. I promise. So as you can see right here, I'm just like making sure that the bleach gets through every strand and like running my fingers through it so it doesn't look like it's just one patch of hair being colored but more so like being kind of streaked but not uniform because she said she didn't want it to look uniform, she wanted to look more of like a little natural, you know, streaks towards the top but not really so. That's why I chose to use my fingers instead of using a comb to do so. But um, yeah, you see I start at the very ends and I work my way up. Because that way 
the ends will process first and then the rest of the hair will process so it gives you like a gradient effect almost like how you would do when you color bundles you know how you start from the bottom work your way up and then you'll call you'll add streaks at the top so it doesn't look like a straight line of hair was bleached The bleach smell on this thing was so strong, like, oh my God. Like, I started to feel a little lightheaded, so I wasn't surprised when she covered her nose. I was really wishing at the moment that I had a mask. It was so strong. So, whenever y'all do bleach your hair or bleach hair or whatever, make sure you're in a very ventilated area. Like, luckily for me, I was like right under the AC. Not that one that you see, but it's another one like higher up. I was right under that, so I was like blowing it out of my face because that smell was so, 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 so strong. Like, it was ridiculous. I didn't know what was in there for it to be that strong. It's supposed to be like ammonia free or whatever the case, but clearly it can't be. So I go on the side and I do the same thing I did to the left side, to the right side, running my fingers through, making sure that it's distributed well, and you know, just making sure I get all the strands, all the ends, like working my way through, because you know, with natural hair, you got to make sure you get through the first layer, the second layer, to the third layer. If not, the hair will be colored on the top and in the middle and then the bottom will be like whatever color it was originally so you really got to work your way through the layers through the thickness through the hair to make sure everything is coated and saturated So here's where I'm creating the finger streaks instead of using the comb. I just put like a little bit on my finger and then like just, you know, start passing it on a little further up so that it's not just all the colors on the top, but then none is on the side. I did that last so that it wouldn't over process with the rest of the hair, that everything would 
process at the same time and at the same speed and not come out brassy or overly reached. So that's why you see me do that last instead of doing that like in the middle with the rest of everything else. So by this time, I don't got all the parts of the hair that's going to be colored, covered, and I think it had been about maybe 10 minutes, and the hair was changing color slightly, so it was like a real brown color, like close to like a number two, or is that a four? Either between two and four, it was like at that color, but even though I seen the change, like she wanted it like bright, bright, like she wanted that ginger blonde color, so... I was like, all right, so that means we have to sit for a good 30 to 45 minutes because with natural hair, it takes a little bit longer to process compared to if her hair was um, permed or straight, or what's the word, um, relaxed. So yeah, that's the shampoo you use when you bleach your hair blonde or you strip the color from it. That's the way to keep it from... Um, being brassy and getting a little weird like copperish color that's not like cute it's like more of an orange uh, like an orange brassy color so that that shampoo really helps to take the brassiness out of the blondes but yeah so far that's what her hair looked like after 30 minutes well like 35 minutes or whatever so now we're just gonna rinse out all the bleach wash it condition it and then So here I'm just putting in the argan oil that came with the bleach to her hair. Usually I'll put like my own little concoction, but I hadn't made it yet, so I didn't have none. I had to use the oil that came with the bleach, just argan oil. So um, I put it in while her hair was wet. That way I'll lock in the moisture um, that's already in her hair so that her hair will be dry. So now I'm just going to comb it out, detangle it, and then twist it up um, for her so that she could either wear it out tomorrow once it's fully dried as a twist out or whatever she chooses to do with it you know we kept it real simple we didn't want to do nothing over dramatic because technically you know her hair is technically still wet and most people that's natural they don't blow dry the hair they just let it dry naturally and so that's what we're doing just twists and this is the end result with the color and with her twists um she was in love she loved it I was happy that she was happy, so, you know, no complaints on either end. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I post again. If you have any ideas that you guys would love to see, go ahead and write them in the comments, and I'll pick from there and do the next video. Bye, guys.